So welcome in. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so grateful and excited for all of you to be here with me all the way. I mean, I can't even believe like from Boston, USA, Nanaimo, Costa Rica. I am too loving the sunshine. I don't know how the weather is where you guys are. So exciting. So Thank you so much for showing up on this live event. Um, hi to everyone on the replay. I know we're going to have a lot of energy moving through uh, into this event and through this event over the next three days. So hi to everybody and super grateful that you are all here. And I'm so excited to deliver this information to you in um, maybe a unique way that you've never really understood before or come in contact with before. Okay. So as we go through, I'm going to basically start with just a little itinerary, okay? So um, for our next three days together, our day one today, I'm going to break down manifestation, law of attraction, how to become a magnet to your desires, okay? So it's basically, I'm going to be talking about desires, um, decision-making, goal-setting, and a few of my favorite um, natural laws of the universe. Okay. So I'm going to also introduce you to something called the effortless way. And we're going to make a full circle back to that concept on day three. So I want to hear in the comments on a scale of one to 10, how, how new to manifestation do you feel like you are? So one is like, I know nothing. I know like the concept of like what manifestation maybe is, but I don't really feel like I have a firm grasp anything more than that and that's totally fine I just want to kind of grasp where everyone's at especially those of you that are on live here um where are you at 10 is like I'm manifesting every single day I'm living my absolute best life and somebody who's a 10 might probably not be on this event per se okay <laughs> let me know five awesome nine but restarting yes amazing Rachel so good okay so um, on day two, so tomorrow, we're going to unpack beliefs. Okay, so I'm going to teach you about paradigms and the way the mind works and programs. And this is a really like kind of a geeky day, but it's not really. It's so cool and super practical. So this piece is going to be an integral part of the event. event okay, so you'll probably experience a lot of aha moments of like, oh, I now understand why this happens or why I continue to create more of the same or that sort of thing going on. Okay. So I'm also going to introduce you to one of my favorite tools I use daily when it comes to releasing limitations. Okay. Limitations or beliefs that are no longer serving me. Okay. So that's day two. Day three is my VIP day. So this is really exciting. It's my favorite day of all. Um, and that's where we're going to discover the secret between um, closing the gap. Okay, I call it closing the gap because a lot of us think we are somewhere and we think we aren't somewhere. Okay, and so we're going to talk about um, how we can quantum leap the effortless way. Like I said, we're going to go through that full circle and I'm going to make it. Um, basically break it down how you can close the gap okay so on day three we will also have a very powerful powerful visualization meditation um so powerful game changer and we'll also open up for questions okay so as we go through especially those of you on live you're welcome to put your questions in the chat as, as we go through the content things are going to come up and you're like but what about this or what is this Put it in the chat. I'll break it down um, as much as I can, just as our time allows. But on day three, this is where you really want to bring your questions. Okay, bring everything to the table. You can even come off, off mute if you want and ask me your big ones. Like, it's going to be a really cool day. It's a little bit more of a, um, a casual day, but it's also more of a day that we are connected, more connected together. Okay, this first day and the second day are a little bit more of me talking at you. Um, but the third day is more of a conversation. Okay. So on day three, VIP day is also the day I'm going to be announcing a new program that I've been working on, as well as another surprise. So really exciting stuff. I called it VIP day. And this is somebody 
that mentors me calls it calls her day this and I really resonated with it um I want you to come as your best self. I want you to feel very important coming to that day. And I know that it will naturally weed out people who are not meant to be here, right? But I trust that, I mean, all of you or almost all of you are going to stay the course and fully commit to your own greatness, right? So VIP day is really show up as you, as your best version of you, right? Okay. So that being said, that's a little bit about the itinerary. Okay. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, I think I'm saying that right. Um, four. Okay, perfect, you guys. I'm so stoked. So um some of you here might already know a few aspects of my story. So um I manifested some pretty incredible things into my life, quantum leap after quantum leap, but because I don't actually know a few a couple of you guys that are on live here, I don't think I I know a couple of you, and I'm sure a bunch of you watching the recording are going to be new to my space. I want to kind of just uh, recap a little bit, okay? So I used to be a single mom, okay? So that's where I'm going to start. Um, before having kids, I was traveling all over the world. I was hitchhiking a lot, and I'm now reflecting since recently um, coming upon and really diving deep into this material. I realized that I had been using the laws of the universe, which I'm going to introduce you to in a second, um, and manifestation for like all of all of my life, right? It's something that we all do, but we do it unconsciously, okay? So even with hitchhiking, for example, like if you're in a bad mood, you're not going to get a ride or you're going to get a ride with somebody who's like really sketchy. And so hitchhiking, how we did it, was more of like an intentional travel, slow travel. So it was really cool situations. Um, but traveling as well, I always have been intuitive led. And I'm sure most of you here really resonate with that, like making a decision or um, yeah, making a decision or making the next move is very much an internal game. Okay. So I was exploring, traveling around alone, um, mostly alone, and I manifested my son. So this is funny. I was actually like came to the realization that I didn't want to be alone anymore. And I felt like I was, you know, I'm ready to grow some roots. And I actually, and for that was the first moment in my life when I was like, I, I think I would like to take care of a little person. I would like to create. Okay. And so sitting on the mountains in the middle of nowhere, Southern of Spain by myself, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so in that moment, that seed was planted. Nothing happened. Like months went by. I was single. I didn't have like any cares in the world, you know, just flowing around. And slowly, slowly that seed manifested. Okay, so I want you guys to think of something maybe in your own personal life where you had a decision and something happened, right? Something, um, something caused that decision to to plant, right? As soon as we make a decision, it plants yes or yes. It's just a matter of our energy and our focus and our assumptions around that decision and how persistent and consistent we are, okay? So anyway, long story short, um, Macaui came into the picture uh, probably about a year after that, okay? Notice I didn't manifest when I was sitting on that Southern Spain. I wasn't like, I want like a dream man and like this perfect life with like the white picket fence and the house and everything. I didn't do that. I manifested somebody to take care of and a little person I wanted to create. Okay. So that's exactly what I got. <laughs> okay. Interesting, right? So by choice and kind of by circumstance, single mother. Okay. Long story. I don't, I'm not going to share like the, the long, um, boring details, but I had a choice. I honestly had a choice. And because of my situation, being self-employed. I didn't have Matt leave. I didn't have any support from the father. He didn't, you know, he wasn't involved at all. And so I had what most people in that situation would do is probably just subscribe. Okay. Most people would subscribe, but I didn't. I, I figured it out <laughs> one day at a time. The struggle was real, right? The struggle was so real. But I knew that I am here to do more. I am here to be more. My kids need me to be more, right? And so I planted the seed that I don't know how, 
in that time, I didn't know how, right? We never know the how, which we're going to get into that, right? I didn't know how, but I was going to show my kids the world. I have such an intense love for travel and for living abroad and for exploring new cultures and situations. And I really do feel like it is the best, best teacher. I didn't know in that time how, like how would a single mom living on government assistance in government housing travel the world with her babies alone? How is that so not normal, right? And so I didn't tell anyone. And maybe you have this, like something similar in your life where you had this dream, which we're also going to talk about making big goals, right? And you don't tell anyone because you know that the people in your in your circles or in your current paradigm wouldn't wouldn't accept it they wouldn't support it right so I didn't tell anyone but I I knew that this was going to happen deep in my soul okay and then I had a big shock okay this is an important piece because when we're changing paradigms and beliefs we're really going to get into this tomorrow there's two ways well there's probably more ways but two ways that I really resonate to change a paradigm, okay, or to shift a program. Basically, a, pr a paradigm is like a program that we were born with and carried and kind of grew every situation, every event that happened in our life continues to create our paradigm. Okay, we're going to get deep into paradigms tomorrow. I love nerding out on paradigms. Okay, so the way that we change a paradigm is through constant spaced repetition basically brainwashing ourselves into our greatness, okay? Or a deep emotional response, okay? So I had a car crash with my kids. My baby was in the car on the way to pick up my son from forest school in my mom's truck while she was in Mexico. <laughs> Keep in mind, I have no support, no circles because a single mom, I don't know if any of you guys here have ever been a single parent, you're kind of cast out into like, you don't really fit in anywhere because like everyone's in couples and they like to do couple things with their kids. And like a single mom, is just like kind of, kind of weird, kind of on the outside. So I knew lots of people, right. Knew lots and lots of people in my community and things like that. I didn't really have like many close relationships of like people that I wanted to spend my time with. Okay. So living in the government housing, of course, it's like, they call it no daddy lane, you guys, no daddy lane. That makes me want to cry, right? Um, it's upsetting, but I didn't want to associate with those women in there because majority of them, if not all of them, are still there, okay? So I had a car crash and I changed my paradigm in that moment. I was like, what am I doing? I don't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to be in the in the snow. I didn't want to be in no daddy lane. <laughs> I didn't want to be, sorry, you guys. I didn't want to be in that space and I didn't want to keep my dream a dream. <laughs> I wanted to explore. I wanted to like skyrocket, you know, I had so much like inside of me that was like fire, you know? And so that changed my paradigm in a moment, like in like instant an instant. Okay. So that was a deep, deep emotional response where I was like, holy hell I almost just died on the highway so icy it was on the road like it was black ice going around to, like the worst case situation around a lot of rocky bends with cliff on this side rock on this side this the car just fishtailed out of control did some spins hit the side but I couldn't get out of the car because it was so slippery and the traffic was so bad and no one could stop there was like semi trucks bands everybody everywhere and I was like holy holy shit like I've got my baby here with me how do I get my baby out of the car thank goodness we were fine totally fine wasn't going fast at all um but yeah it was just a holy cow moment okay I'm out of here and so when I planted that seed and I made that decision so so hard like so like abruptly it had no choice but to grow and to to flourish because I had made that made the decision. Okay, we're going to talk about decision making here in a second. This is huge. Okay. After that, I'd made the decision. That's it. This is my last winter. That was 2019 of January, January 2019. I was like, I'm out of here by September. 
don't know where I'm going. I don't know how I'm doing it. I don't have any savings. I have a business online that is flourishing at the moment. So I'm going to run with it and I'm just going to make it happen. The how doesn't matter. Every step along the way is going to come. And so I didn't tell anyone, didn't tell my mom, didn't tell anybody. I kept, kept moving on, right? Kept going, kept doing the things. Okay. And so now I recognize that, um, I was working in the masculine. Okay. We're going to talk about that soon here as well. Our tendency is to, when we have a goal, when we have a deadline, a decision, we made it, we're going to get to work and we're going to work, right? I am a recovering workaholic. Okay, guys, like I, I, and being in the mechanical, being in that masculine energy can get you so far. It can get you so far. And I know many successful people that have worked purely in the masculine, okay? But I now understand that masculine and feminine need to come together in order to, what's the word I want to use? This is where the effortless way remains, okay? This is where it lives. When the masculine and the feminine come together. I swear I brought a tissue out here. I knew this was going to happen. Anyway, it's gone. Um... So after that decision, I was on my way to coming, you know, I didn't know where I was going to, I still didn't know, like until a couple months, maybe even a month before that I was coming to Costa Rica, I just was open and ready, right? I'm like, I'm open and ready to receive like guidance on where I'm going. Here's the vital piece is I used to think that the outside, the guidance would come from the outside. Hey, this is an interesting concept. Because some of it does come from the outside, but a lot of it comes from the inside. And so my intuition tells me, right, tells me the next step. A lot of people, just give me one sec here. A lot of people, when they, sorry, when they are manifesting, say you want more money. Okay. A lot of people want more money. When you're manifesting more money, you're kind of like waiting for the money to come. It's like, you're, you're like, the money is coming. I'm just going to manifest five grand into my bank account. And it's just, it's just on its way. Okay. And you're purely looking for that money. Okay. What you instead, I now understand needs to happen is it's not the money that's coming. It's the damn nudges. It's the nudges. It's the guidance. It's the, oh my gosh, I know, like I have this fantastic idea. Like, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You know, these ideas, I call them downloads, but these little steps, you're like, okay, I'm manifesting five grand into my bank account. And then all of a sudden you're like, I should do this. Right. And you need to follow that nudge. Many people are like, oh no, no, no. I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. Right. Okay. So that's the, that's the big piece where we're following the nudges. The guidance comes from you know, some from source, I like to say, you know, we are humans, but we are spiritual creative beings in a human body having a human experience. Okay, if we are connecting into source, this is how we are manifesting and co creating. Okay, I don't care which faith you believe in at all. Like I, I honor and respect any faith. Okay, I believe that they all come down to kind of like one base one basic premise and that's okay right but I do believe that you can have faith without being religious okay you can have faith without religion okay so wherever you're at I'm I'm totally honoring wherever you are but connecting and being connected to source is manifestation okay and that's how we can co-create so after I made that decision to come to Costa Rica or come somewhere get out of Canada for the for I didn't even know how long, right? I manifested my dream partner. So I, I don't know if, again, I don't know if I've got any single moms on here, but um, I was so over men. I was like, I'm so done. And I don't even know if I like guys anymore, you know, like just that done. And so I, I was going through a program with one of my mentors and she had us do this exercise of like writing out our ideal person. And I wrote out everything. She like was like, no, you don't go small here. And any of you guys that are single that are looking for your dream partner, like you do not miss anything, okay? <laughs> you put everything on that list because you deserve it. And you are, you are totally limitless, okay? It's our silly beliefs and programs that tell us that we, oh, that's too big or who are we to deserve that? Whatever, let it go, okay? 
you are incredible. And so I put all of the, all of the details of what my dream guy would be. And I was like, you know, like I put everything, everything you guys. And then I looked at it and read it over a couple of times. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be like, that's going to be so exciting. It's going to be very expansive, like really tapping into how it's going to feel. Right. And then I crumpled it up and threw it away. <laughs> I was like, you'll come. I just knew. I knew, and this is a vital piece of manifestation. I knew he was on his way. And that moment I assumed the wish fulfilled. Okay. Utilizing the law of assumption, which states whatever you assume with persistence and consistent, consistent, consistently will manifest. Okay. Through your assumption. And so I was like, he's on his way. I'm going to let it go. And he's going to find me or I'm going to find him when it's time. And I knew, right. So I let it go. I um, let it go. Everything lined up for me to book a flight one way to Costa Rica alone with my two little kids. Okay. When I say everything lined up, I mean like lawyer papers, um, all of the things, all of the flight details. You guys, when I look for a flight, when I do anything, I don't know if any of you watched my live the other day in our Think, Believe, Achieve group. But I was like, you know, what do I desire? What do I desire? Do you guys ever ask yourself this? We're going to go into this in a bit here. And then I was like, I want to go to Guatemala. I'm going to Guatemala. Why not? Like, it's great. I love to change up the scenery a little bit. You know, oh, I live in Costa Rica, but like, it's nice to kind of change it up a little bit, you know? And I wrote out exactly. I was like, hmm, instead of, so this is called living from the inside out. You create an idea from the inside and you bring it to the outside. Okay. So instead of saying, I wonder how much flights are to Guatemala, it's probably expensive on oh, accommodation. I don't know. Like all of the things, like most people, like give me a wave in the comments. If you, in the chat, if you, if you tend to do that, if you have a decision, your, your beliefs come up and you're like, I wonder, like, that's the first instinct as humans, that masculine energy of figuring it out comes up first, right? It's like, how? How is it going to happen? Oh, it's so expensive. I can't afford that. All of these ridiculous beliefs start to come up, right? So instead, I was like, I want to go to Guatemala. Yes, Kyle, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get out my book. You guys, I, I do a lot of writing. I write every single day, multiple times a day. And I don't, most of the time, I don't re reread it because it's expired. Okay, I believe that this physical reality right now it's already expired. This happened in my fourth in my fourth dimension, which is your imagination. This happened in the past. I created this. You created everything that you're looking at, you're experiencing, you created that through a thought and a belief, okay? Interesting to think about, right? So anyway, we'll go into that more. I love that. So Guatemala, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get my notebook out and I'm going to write it out. This is how it's going to go. The flights are going to be this much. This is how much accommodation is going to be. I want to go on this day and come back on this day. This is how much the whole cost of the, the trip's going to be. And it's going to feel like this, 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 this. We're going to do like this. I started to look at the map and plan it out. I got excited, right? Sitting in that energy of like, oh, it's so cool to explore new places. I love that, right, Margaret? Okay. And so <clears throat> then you guys, I got my energy behind that and I got excited about it. And then I opened up the flights and I was like, all right, now time to find my flight. I already know how much it is. I got to find it. And I'm not even joking. I opened it up, found the flight. It was the same price as I had said. I want to pay less than, what did I say? Less than $100 each person. It's less than $100 go to Guatemala. Just so you know, anyone living in Costa Rica, why aren't we in Guatemala right now? <laughs> right? So, that's, I was like, okay, and I'm going to look up accommodation, found the accommodation for the price I wanted to pay. So this is how it works. You guys, this is how manifestation works and how we can co-create with anything. Okay. We make a decision first. We make a decision, you guys. And if you can't make a decision, you need to work on making a decision. Okay. Cause that's the step one. You need to decide. So let's talk about that. What do we want, you guys? I made a little workbook for this uh, for this event. 
And it's like kind of basic right now because to be honest, like, oh no, I don't have a, just give me one sec. Um, <laughs> so to be honest, I don't really have a plan and I do really trust that, um, just give me one sec here. I'm going to figure this out. Goodness. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a plan. Like when I do these zooms, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to like, uh, what's going to come up. I don't know how I'm going to plan all of this or whatever is going to come up. And so I kept it really open right now, but I will be adding to it, um, soon later today. So for some reason, my zoom room is about to kick us off. So let me just do this really quick. Okay. So I want to hear in the comments, in the chat, um, do you struggle at making a decision? Yes or no? I want to hear and be honest. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. You know, most people, like most people don't really think, like they don't really take time to say like, hmm, what do I desire? You know? So do you struggle at making a decision? And would you want to share your desire? Do you want to share a goal, something with us? Can be anything, it can be anything. Okay, almost done. Tell me a goal, okay, in the comments, in the chat. So we're gonna talk about goal setting here in a second. Um, once I figure out my PayPal, PayPal, um, there we go, contrasenia. <laughs> uh, flying on the edge here, all right. So we're gonna talk about goal setting and how most people make a goal that they know how to achieve okay so that's not a goal if we're there we go if we're setting a goal that we know how to achieve that's not a goal friends that's not a goal okay looks like it's good it's good okay so let's talk about about goal setting i learned from bob proctor here we go i love these answers you guys okay i should be good to go on the on the zoom front here what the that was weird. Alrighty. 10K months with limited work. Love that. The effortless day. Lightness and joy. Okay. Great, great. Lots of yeses, definitely. Oh yeah. Struggle to make decisions. This is a really important piece, right? I used to be indecisive. I used to be an indecisive person and I'm not anymore. And I decided that and changed my belief around that in an instant to own a beautiful farm, off-grid living. Ooh, love that. Love it. Totally real. Okay. So let's talk about goal setting um, and beliefs. Okay. Just get back to our notes here. Okay. So goal setting. Type A goals. I learned from Bob Proctor. Does anyone know Bob Proctor? Like know of Bob Proctor? He's like an old OG uh, Canadian fantastic human being he changed so much in my world holy cow love him bob proctor so good so some of this material that i'm sharing with you could have some bob influence and could be a little bit familiar but <clears throat> i find bob is quite masculine obviously well he is a man but i mean he he does things a, a masculine more of a masculine do way like write out your goal 150 times hell no i'm not gonna write my goal 150 times Okay, so type A goals do not make you stretch. 
okay, you've done it before. You know, you've done it before you, you know how to get there, right? So type A goals, we do not make type of type A goals here. Okay. Type B goals. Okay. Hold on. Give me a sec. This should be fine. Why is this not upgrading? Interesting. Well, we'll just, we'll just flow with it and hope that it's all good. Um, hmm, strange. Well, let's just hope. Okay. So type A goals are something you've done before. Type B, goal, type B goals is something that you've never achieved, but you know with a little bit more effort, you can probably reach it. Okay, so this is something like, you know, making a specific amount of money or, um, you know, something that you is close to what you've done. So it's a little bit of a goal, but not really a goal. Type C goals is where we want to hang out, okay? Type C goals, it's like a fantasy. <laughs> He calls it a fantasy like goal that makes you stretch. Okay. This is the one like I did when I had that car accident. And then I made the decision to go abroad with two little kids as a single mom. This is the decision that I don't, you don't tell people usually. Right. So some people do like, you know, my situation, I was like, I'm not going to tell anyone. Okay. Cause I don't need their garbage in my head. I don't need them contributing to my beliefs that I'm, I am shifting. Right. And so we, for a type C goal, this is something that is pretty big, okay? And maybe you do tell somebody, but maybe you don't as well. That's totally fine, okay? So as you're setting these goals, you're going to have beliefs come up. You're going to have limitations. You're going to have these perceptions that are going to come up and try to throw you off course, okay? So maybe not at the beginning. Maybe you're like, you know, I used to be stuck in this. I used to be stuck in this cycle of like, I'll, I'm so good at setting goals. I am a dreamer all day long, right? I've always been a dreamer, dreaming big. Okay. But then something happens and throws me off course. Has that happened before? You're like setting a goal, setting a goal, like running after it, doing great. And then something happens. And then I I'm, feel like I'm failing. I tell myself I'm failing. Oh, I, you know, suck at life. Nothing, it's not even happening, you know, all of the things. Has that happened before? You know what that is now? I now understand I'm not in that cycle anymore. I understand that that's my paradigm pulling me back down. That's my program. That's what I'm, that's my how do you call that? Like a governor. You know, when you're on you're driving a car and it has like a governor, it won't let you go past that. That's your governor stopping you, okay? And we're here to do the work to break that governor. We're here to break that paradigm, okay? So this is all what tomorrow is about, like real deep paradigm shifting, okay? So if we don't recognize that in the moment when you are feeling defeated or thrown off, we don't recognize that this is an old version of us. It's an old belief coming up. It's an old paradigm and we catch it. We're going to go back down. We're going to go back into that same wishing, hoping, feeling, waiting for the goal to come, right? We don't want to do that, right? We don't want to do that. So tomorrow I'm going to introduce you to a technique that I use and I've talked about it before. Um, I've talked about it before. And it's just such a fantastic way to shift your energy. Okay. So I want you guys today to write out everything. Okay. Write, 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 write. For some reason, this Zoom is still saying I need to upgrade. So if for some reason it gets, it kicks us off, just come back into the same Zoom room. Okay. Um, and we'll continue on, but I've already upgraded. So I'm not sure what's going on here. But if that is the case, then we'll see you back in here in a second. Um, so writing is such a powerful tool, you guys. It gets us, it gives us the ability to get what's in our head out on paper and then reread it. And when we reread our perceived beliefs, most of the time we're like, why would I ever believe that? That is such a silly belief. Or we get to ask ourselves, where did this belief come from? Right. And that's what I've personally really felt a massive transformation the past week, specifically the past week. Right. Because I've unpacked, 
I recognized that I had been holding on some to some beliefs from my childhood. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. My apologies. Technology. Um, so interesting because I would say I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't know that was going to happen just until it was not upgrading. Um, but I want to I want to hear as well. I'm going to open the chat again. Um, have you ever experienced a situation where you were like, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. How many of you have done that? You're like going throughout your day and you're thinking about something and then dang, it happens. Okay. Always, always. This is the law of assumption. I'm going to break down basically the law of assumption for you right now, because one of my favorite laws and it's something that, I mean, if you saw my stories last night on Instagram, I feel like it's a way, so many ways, it's a way that we can almost manipulate our 3D physical world to our liking, okay? So here's what's actually happening. When we assume anything and we hold our energy in that space and we really continue to see it on the, the screen of our mind, it will manifest, okay? So what most of us do is we affirm and assume the opposite of what we want, right? Have you done that before? Have you literally manifested something that you did not want into the physical because you assumed and then you got to say, okay, knew that was going to happen. Happens all the time to most people. And so what we want to do here, what we're doing now that you have awareness around what's actually happening, yes. We're going to start to assume what we do want. Okay. So when we do our exercise today, our actual journal, I like to call it, I like to just say writing. I don't want to make it too fancy calling it a journal, anything. Just write. Okay. When we're writing today, I want you to write down what you desire. Okay. Because here's the thing. We are all limitless limitless period okay we are creative spiritual beings having a human experience okay so what happens though is that a lot of us allow our paradigms our conditioning our program to affect that limitlessness okay so we start to assume that you know and i mean it's not that easy to to be any other way right our our economy our physical like society has a lot of pressure on us being a certain way, right? A certain income bracket, a certain buying certain things, all of this sort of stuff, right? So when we make a choice that is against that societal norm, a lot of noise starts to come up, right? But we don't need to subscribe to it. So when we are writing out our desires, and I want you to get really, really specific, okay? Really specific, really deep, and really big. Remember that C-type goal. I want you to ask yourself, if all things are possible, what do I desire? What do I desire? Okay? So once you start to tap into this material and this, this energy, you'll start to see numbers, like in, in sequence, has anyone seen, does anyone regularly seen, see numbers like one, 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 three, 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 whatever, like any numbers that are in sequence. This is something that happens a lot to me when I, I call it like when you're in the vortex, when you're in this material, you start to see signs of spirit or the universe working in your favor. Okay. So when we're setting our goals and we are deciding that we can have those goals, this will start to really happen, okay? I want you guys to take those desires today that you're going to write out, and I want you to start to live them in your fourth dimension, okay? So remember that manifestation is basically the realization of the wish fulfilled, okay? the realization of the wish fulfilled. So whatever you desire and you see it in your fourth dimension, your imagination, you can bring it to the outside. Okay, just like I said before, 
our 3D physical world is a physical manifestation of our past thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Our thoughts and beliefs uh, determine our actions every time, okay? Our thoughts and our beliefs determine our actions. They determine how we show up. They determine how we feel we are, who we feel we are. The way we see ourselves is the way the world is going to see us. Okay, so when we are setting these goals and we're seeing them in our fourth dimension, we are going to start assuming them into the physical 3D, into our physical 3D. And when you do, those traumas, those beliefs, those limitations that come up, write them down. Okay, write them down. If you want to, uh, you can message me directly and you can tell me them if you want to, but I'm going to create something tomorrow that is going to help us to release those or begin to release them. Okay, so sometimes a lot of us have, how, what's the word? We allow our paradigms and our programs, our beliefs to have a hold on us. Okay, we're not ready to release them yet. You know, we might have some pretty decent, deep healing to do, especially if it's, you know, childhood traumas. I recognized that I had trauma around not being seen and appreciated and cared for. Okay. Just throwing it out there. And I realized just a few days ago that I was allowing that belief to still show up in my life, that I needed validation. Crazy, right? Like a lot of us as humans, like feel like we would, you know, like Oh, sorry, Rachel or her, Margaret, I didn't let you in. <laughs> we would like validation, right? A lot of us appreciate appreciation, right? But I was doing it in a different way. And I realized that and I changed that belief. Okay, the really cool thing that if we are ready to, we can change our beliefs in an oh. instant. We can change our beliefs in an yeah. instant, okay? We get to choose. So we can choose... And this might be hard to hear sometimes. We can choose how we want to feel. We can choose how we show up. We can choose what we believe. We get to choose. And so if we get to choose, why don't we just choose new beliefs, right? It could be that easy. And it can be that easy. But we don't allow ourselves for it to be that easy, okay? So make a choice. Are you going to allow it, allow it to be easy? I allow it to be easy. Okay, so we talked a little bit about living from the inside out, talked a little bit about the law of assumption. We know all about the law of attraction, right? These are, this is another major, I mean, mainstream law. Law of attraction is actually a secondary law, which maybe you already know. Law of vibration is the primary law. Okay, so law of vibration states that we live in a vibrational universe energy is always and forever flowing to and through us in everything okay we are in an energetic reality okay so what happens though when we have uh, a goal and we think about it we get into you know have you guys ever done this if you're you're thinking of your goal and you get goosebumps you get all excited you get butterflies and you are in that high vibration that is the vibration of your desire, right? But then for some of us almost instantly, the how sneaks up and the how is like, but how? But how? It's not even possible. Like, who are you even to say that? Oh, there's so many people in this world that need food on the table. And here you are dreaming of this. Has that ever happened? Right? And then it throws us off and instantly our vibration shifts and we're in a different state. Okay, the law of vibration, we need to become a vibrational match to our desire. We need to become a vibrational match to our desire. How do we do that? Not just staying in the vibration of pretending, you know, our desire, like, and just imagining it. It's not just that. Okay, we're going to talk about this more tomorrow. It's about becoming. Day three is all about becoming, all about closing the gap, right? It's about asking, who do I need to become in order to have that goal come into the physical world? Okay, if you have a money goal and you are asking 
yourself how much things cost or going to the store and being like, it's so expensive. No, you are not going to manifest that money. You're not going to bring it into your physical. Okay. You need to be, this is the connection between masculine do and physical or sorry, spiritual feminine feel spirit co-creation ease flow peace this is where we live my friends right this is where i live i live in that feminine energy but here's the thing a lot of people especially women i'm not going to say only women though they live purely in the feminine okay and they have they allow that feminine energy of, you know, maybe it's a more fluid movement, more like feeling energetic, trusting flow, meditation, visualization, those sorts of things, which are all vital pieces of the work and manifestation as a whole, but without the action, it's not going to happen. Okay. So the action, the masculine and the feminine need to come together. Okay. Okay. So when we have that goal, if it's a money goal, I'm going to use money as an example because it's really easy to talk about. I don't know. I find it easy to talk about anyway. It's a really easy one to relate to. Okay. So when we have that goal of I'm going to be making 10 grand a month. Okay. How does that feel to you? How does it feel? 10 grand a month. Does it feel big? Does it feel like a, like, whew, that's going to be awesome. Like 10 grand is like, it's decent, right? And I'm not saying it's not. It is. It's awesome. 10 grand, I mean, pretty much anyone can live pretty well off 10 grand a month. But but there's that ease and flow piece that Rachel mentioned. Okay, there's a lot of people out there, and maybe some of you as well, that are making around 10 grand a month, but they work all the time. They're stressed out. They're tired. They're overworked. They're They're at their max, right? That's not how we do things here. So we become the type of person we become the version of ourselves we become our best selves we become the part of us that is that ten thousand dollars a month earner right and we close the gap that way which again we're gonna we're gonna dive deep into in a couple of days okay so i want you guys to study the beliefs study your mind what comes up when you write these out keep in mind that that law of vibration and the law of assumption, in my opinion, works so well together because we can get into that state and assume the wish fulfilled, becoming the best versions of ourselves, showing up in every moment of every day as her, as him. And we close the gap. We begin to assume our way, brainwash ourselves into becoming the best version of ourselves. Okay, this world revolves around our assumptions and our perspective, our, pers our, our persistent and consistent action, right? Towards our goals in the feminine, in the energetic, in the spiritual way. So let me know in the comments, in the chat, if this is resonating, if you have questions on this, right? So there's something, yeah, Rachel's into it. Rachel's into it. Okay. So much. It's interesting concepts, right? And that's why I said it's kind of new. It'll, it could be a newer concept to some people because we are so programmed to live from in the masculine. We live in, in the masculine. Okay, we, even as women, are more masculine, I think, than we've, we've ever been, right? But we need to remember that the feminine we get to embrace. I don't, if you're a man, you still have this feminine inside of you. Okay. It's not like this is only for women. This is such a powerful concept when we bring the feminine and the masculine together. Okay. Yes. Yes. So much. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. And so I want you guys to, to do that exercise today, really write it out, get out your papers write out your desires, write out your beliefs that you think you hold, right? And we're really going to work on unpacking those beliefs tomorrow. Okay. So anyone want to share their biggest takeaway from today in the chat? I'd love to hear it. For tomorrow, we're going to be in the same time, same place, Zoom room. And I know there's going to be a lot more um, movement, like I said before, into and out of this um, and out of this energy. I'm really excited to continue to to share this with you and to oh my gosh like 
even just this, these concepts we shared today, I guarantee you're going to look at, at uh, the world differently. Spending more time in C-type goals. C-type goals, yep. C-type goals, where it's at, dream big. That's a big one, right? But it's it's dreaming. Like, like I said, I'm a dreamer all day long. And I used to dream really big. And not much was changing. Have you ever felt that where you're like, I've got so many big dreams, but like nothing, nothing is shifting. And I keep coming back to where I am, letting go of the how and drastically believing in your dreams, C type dreams, C type goals. Yep. It's so true. So the how will come. Like I was saying, I used to dream. I used to, I'm like, I'm, I'm the dreamer. I am like the action taker. Right. But I kept coming back. I kept falling back and I didn't know why. I didn't know why until I realized and learned about paradigms. And that's all tomorrow, you guys. So excited. Okay. Love it, you guys. Thank you so much. I have so much gratitude for you guys, especially those of you that took time to hang out with me live here. Um, check your emails. Let me know if you're not getting emails for some reason. Um, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have an amazing day wherever you are. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, guys.